Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take and make a pea pod or bean pod scroll. So hopefully you all will like this video. So we're starting with a piece of 3 8 inch round mild steel or 10 mil round mild steel. And I'm going to take and drive approximately a 3 quarter inch or 20 mil taper. And we're gonna do this a asymmetrical taper, not a symmetrical one. So we're not trying to get the point to come directly to the center, we want it to be off to one side. So we're gonna put that point on there. It does not have to be a sharp point. Again, you can kind of choose how you like on that. But we're just doing three quarter right now at this point. And then we're going to go ahead and stick off approximately two inches of material, maybe a little bit less. Um, and we are going to take and make that on the same side. So whichever way we drove down our asymmetrical taper, we're going to go ahead and flip that a full 180 degrees. And in that same fashion, that's how we're gonna take and drive down this material. We want this material to be, again, two inches or 50 mil long in total. And you'll see why that's important here in the next couple heats. We'll go ahead and heat this up. I'll go ahead and mention, depending on what size scroll you're working with, you can make this bean pod longer or shorter. It's really up to you. These are just measurements I'm using for this particular demonstration. So while this heats up, I'd also like to thank you for joining me today uh, in the workshop. Hopefully you will enjoy the rest of this video and I can make it fun, informative, and entertaining for you. All right, here we go. We're going over that two inches again. And we're gonna drive the material down on those sides. We want this to have a clear shoulder here for the bean pod. Now we're gonna go ahead and work the material down into that corner to give us a better transition for our scroll. Now this is really getting a little too cold now to be working on, but I'm gonna go ahead and go this extra step and go ahead and round it off right now just to save time on the video. But if I was not doing this for video, I would just go ahead and take an extra heat on this. But we're gonna to try to save a little bit of time here by getting that rounded up now. All right, so now that's what we're left with at the end. And that's what we're going to turn into our bean pod. So we're going to go ahead and heat that end up again. Next heat, I'm going to straighten it a little bit, and then we're going to flatten it straight down. Now this is a really a pretty interesting looking scroll. If done right, um, you know you can kind of you know do your own experimenting with it. It's usually not used by itself. It's used as an element in other scroll work. So I will say that, um, but uh, you, again, it's up to artistic interpretation. You can do what you like with it. But historically, these are used more, more or less in additional scroll work. So we're gonna get that there, and then we're gonna drive this just straight flat home. And we're not gonna go all the way down, but we're gonna go down to about half the parent bar thickness of the original material. And I know what you longtime supporters are thinking, Roy, you're making a kniff. Eh, wrong. We're making a bean pod scroll. Get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> so there we have it. So we've gotten it flattened down. You should end up with something that is roughly half an inch wide or about 12 mil, 12 and a half mil wide. And that's what we're wanting. So now we're gonna go ahead and set down that hammer because we don't need that anymore. We're gonna pull up a soft face hammer and we are going to use a three, in, three eighths inch round ball punch on this. For the more astute of you, you probably understand where this is going. We use excellent third hand control and we're gonna come just to the inside of the outside edge of that and we're gonna start driving down some peas or beans, if you will, in a progressive-like fashion. 
we're gonna angle this out a little bit. We want these to drive material out. So as we drive this edge out, it's gonna curve a little bit and you don't wanna correct that. You wanna leave that into it. And there you have it. So there's the bean pod itself. We'll go ahead and heat that up a little bit more. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a straighten in this next heat after I drive out a little more material. I want just a little more material driven out here. I'm gonna reduce some of my airflow that I've got going into the firebox. Now that I've got the material thinned out, I'm gonna come back through again and drive out some of these bottom pods a little more. Just give it just that little bit more expression. Again, however even you make this will determine or it will show up in the final result. The more even you make these things, the better off this thing's gonna look in the long run. But now you guys can see how that's kinda got that crook there a little bit, and that's really what we're wanting. We're wanting that to look just like that. So now, how do we turn this into a scroll? So what you're thinking is, okay, we'll continue going in the direction that that bean pod's already curving. But that is the magic of doing this bean pod end for the scroll. You want to actually go opposite of that to make your scroll, to make it look like that bean pod is just dangling there off the end of a vine. Uh, if you need some examples of this, go ahead and just suit, you know, search out like Google images, if you will and uh, you'll see some different images of bean plants. That's probably the easiest way that you can educate yourself on what a bean pod looks like hanging from the vine. Obviously, they don't hang off of curly little tendrils like this, at least not all the bean varieties out there. But we're trying to do our best here uh, to give it some representation in this piece. So now we're gonna pull this out we're going to cool off the ends of the bean a bit. And just like in other scrolling operations, we want to create a really nice bend right there at the bean portion itself. We want that to be a really nice tight bend. That's what really sells this, if you will, is that first initial bend being a really nice tight bend. Okay. Also, you could use this at the end of, say, a hook or some sort of stake turner. You don't have to go full out with this. You can make this part of a towel rack, towel bar. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this bean end here. But that's what we're going to do with it. Now, I will also say this. Um, I haven't been mentioning this in the different series I've been doing on different types of scrolls here different finial ends and things of that nature. All these can be grouped together and, and done all sorts of different scroll work, but it's important to remember, so if you got a scroll going to the right, but then you got one going to the left, you're gonna have to take and make your impressions on opposite sides. And the reason for that being is, like while you're working on the piece, you're gonna notice that you might run into a thing where, yeah, you made up all the scrolls that you want, but they're all right-handed scrolls. So when you flip it, all the detail is on the front side, or one's on the front, one's on the back, something like that. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, so again, you want to kind of think while you're doing these which way this needs to scroll eventually, and then that's how you need to orient it in order so this way the design that you're putting into the front of it will go in the correct orientation when you're done. So now we'll just go ahead and create a nice scroll out of this. Now you're going to have to give this some extra wide berth here because again, this is going to suck up extra material because it is a bean pod. If you notice how nicely that looks, this looks really sick, really sweet. I love how these always come out looking where they follow the curvature of that inner bean. Obviously, if this thing is longer, you're going to have to make this curve a lot longer, and so therefore it's a much bigger scroll, but that's okay. So now we're going to go ahead and heat up a lot more material, a lot longer length of material. 
than previous, and we're going to continue this scroll around. So I also like to take this moment to say thank you for all those with all your kind support of us here at Christ Centered Ironworks. Thank you to all my long-term subscribers. Um, God bless you all. I greatly appreciate each and every last one of you. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. I hope you're finding this informative. If you are, I, I would like you to subscribe to the channel, definitely. You know, everybody likes to do, do that. Uh, and enjoy the over 1,100 videos of tutorials and content that I have here on this channel. There's something for everyone. Some advanced level projects, beginner level, basic level, intermediate uh, and professional level projects here. We are all about helping you and your blacksmithing either career or your endeavors as a hobbyist. We are all about that here at Christ Center and Ironworks and we're glad to have you a part of the family. So now we're going to just continue to hammer this right on up. Give ourselves our nice little curvature here. I'm going to keep working this around a bit. I want to keep that negative space in touch without developing flats, preferably. Looks like I got a little bit of a flat start in there, so I'm going to unwind that a bit. There we go. That got that flat out of there. And I'll just keep scrolling this right on around. So the secret to scroll work is to make sure that you get nice, long, even heat. So right out at the end you want to take a short heat then you want to take a longer heat and then a longer heat and then a longer heat and sometimes you'll have to paint the piece of bar stock through the flame to take and get that really nice big long Archimedes spiral there so we'll go ahead and get this out again We're taking a really long heat this time and I'm painting it a little bit because I'm trying to get the rest of this scroll done here in this heat so you all can see how that looks. But again, you want to get really nice long heats on this, this stage of it. And at the end of the scroll, you want to make sure no matter how much, you're, how much scrolling you're doing, at the very end, you don't want this bean pod pointed upwards. You want it to be dangling like it's hanging down. You want it pointed in the downwards position. It is very crucial that you do that. So now we're gonna go ahead and give this big arch even more attention. Get a little more heat on that, wrap that up just a bit tighter, but we're getting there. You guys are seeing that. So again, you want that bean pot at the end to be, you know, be hanging where it's supposed to be hanging. Nice and square-like. So, And I'm going to have to tighten this up a little bit. This has gotten a little longed here. I tried to go a little too tight with it here, so I'll have to adjust that a bit. But anyways, you guys get the point. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like, uh, comment down below what you thought. As always, I greatly appreciate each and every last one of my subscribers. God bless you all. And as always, we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.